Today we're going to make a classic, The Aviation. For this drink, you're going to need a Nick and Nora glass, a jigger, a cocktail shaker, a bar spoon, a citrus juicer, and a cutting board and a small knife. This drink uses gin, freshly squeezed lemon juice, maraschino liqueur, violet liqueur, or creme de violette, and a maraschino cherry for garnish. If you don't want to make your own cherries, make sure you use a real, quality maraschino cherry. The Aviation is a modification of a classic sour. Like the whiskey sour, this drink is made up of three components. A spirit, a citrus juice, and a sweetener. Which in this case is more booze. The drink was first published in Hugo Enslin's book Recipes for Mixed Drinks from 1916. Historians may argue over whether or not Ensling invented the drink, but his book had the first recipe in print. Ensling's recipe used very little of the maraschino and violet liqueurs, and he made no mention of a garnish. This more modern recipe happens to be my favorite, but feel free to adjust the ratios to fit your palate. This drink is classically made with creme de violette, which usually uses dyes to achieve a very deep purple color. In the aviation, the purple color is thinned out to a sky blue, hence the name. Unfortunately for Ensling, the infinitely more popular Savoy cocktail book was published 14 years later, and it left out the creme de violette. And at some point during the latter half of the 20th century, at least in the US, creme de violette was virtually non-existent. So for a long time, the Savoy version of the drink was the only thing that was available. Luckily, creme de violette is more widely available now, and the aviation can be made with its original ingredients again. However, I'm using liqueur de violette. There are two main differences. Liqueurs use less sugar than the cremes, and in the case of this brand, it doesn't use any dyes to make it purple, which is why the drink looks like a quinceanera in a glass. The color is a lot like a Bacardi cocktail, and like the Bacardi cocktail, it's delicious. The color is similar to what you get if you use creme de Yvette, which used to be a common substitute for creme de violette. The pink-hued aviation may not be the intended color, and it may have left Ensling shaking his head, but what did Shakespeare say? An aviation by any other color is still an aviation? Something like that. All of this butchered French pronunciation of violette, creme de violette, and liqueur de violette makes it sound like a French drink, when it was most likely invented by a German expat in New York. Whatever it is, the thing that stands out the most is that it's a great and complex drink that'll go down easy on every palate. Before I get started, I like to cut, squeeze, strain, and bottle my juice so I can measure it more accurately when it comes time to pour. Next, we'll chill our Nick and Nora glass. Fill it with ice and water and set it aside. Measure two ounces of gin, add back to the shaker. With this jigger, that's two pours. Measure half an ounce of maraschino liqueur, add that to the shaker. Measure a quarter ounce of violet liqueur, add that to the shaker. Measure three quarter ounce of lemon juice, add that to the shaker. Add ice, and because we're using citrus, we're gonna shake this one. Give it a good shake to chill it down and give it some dilution. Then dump the ice from your Nick and Nora glass. Scoop out a maraschino cherry and plop it in your drink for garnish. And strain the contents of your shaker into your chilled Nick and Nora glass. And there it is. The Aviation. Made with more or less its original ingredients. Enjoy. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.